What's up, guys? Mike's here. All right, let's kick it up to another chapter of life as a five-year-old. This is Cole's story of how his life being a five-year-old will be either easier or harder. Now, as I could tell by the title there, Cole is having a uh, stomach troubles. So it's not like a it's gonna be like a part one of his tummy trouble. So let's get started reading the next chapter. All right, let's get to it. Tummy trouble part one. My slumber was interrupted by two strange noises. The first one sounded like a big bear growling loudly. The second like moaning, painful moaning. I sat up in bed and tried to listen to what the sounds were. Then I heard the growling again, but then I realized it was just my poor empty stomach growling the hunger. The meal last night may have not been filling, but I did save damn money, so I couldn't complain. But the sound I was concerned about was the painful moaning and sounded nearby. As I was about to explore on what the noise was, Dad came into the room. He instantly went up to Ricky's bunk. I got out of my bed and climbed the ladder to see poor Ricky holding his stomach. He looked green and sickly. Dad, my tummy hurts really bad, he moaned. He didn't look wet at all. It might have been his supper. The extra large lobster could fit it in Ricky's stomach with ease. He stuffed himself too much. I wasn't surprised. It's okay, Ricky. You can stay home today. Dad kissed. He kissed his forehead and attended to me. The only hands kid that was going to school. You get dressed, Cole. We live here in a few minutes, he said. He left the room for me to get ready. Are you gonna be okay, Ricky? I asked, looking to his looking at his top bunk. He didn't reply. It was money too much. But I got dressed anyway, wearing my blue trousers, red shirt with the words Hungry Monster on it, and my black shoes. I went downstairs to meet Dad. I'll just get Ricky comfortable before I take you, he said. He grabbed a bowl, a towel, and hot water bottle upstairs. Me being me, I started to pack my bag with my homework ready for school. When I realized something was missing, my lunch, I saw a bag on the counter. I grabbed it and put it in my bag. Dad came back downstairs. I grabbed my coat, my bag, and Dad's hand and left for school. When I got to my seat, I opened my bed to grab a snack out the drawer. I opened the lunch bag to reveal it being full of pebbles. Ricky must have left it for me, which I meant I was at school with no money or food for lunch. I started to draw a tummy, a very empty tummy, growling and rumbling in pain and hunger. I drew bubbles full of all sorts of food, showing I wanted food really badly. But I wasn't going to get any until I got home. Oh, this is not good. Well, we'll see what happens in the part two for the tummy troubles. Alright guys, it's the end of the video.